one of the few companies that produce both OLED and LED choices with better quality is Sony. Frankly speaking, Sony is a strong competitor in the market and its TVs, particularly the high-end versions, are renowned for their exceptional out-of-the-box accuracy. Even the less expensive Sony TVs outperform the competition when it comes to upscaling lower resolution material and has excellent motion handling. Sony 90K OLED and A80K OLED were highly successful and advanced launches by the company. However, the company kept on progressing and its Sony A95K OLED is a flagship 4K TV in Sony's 2022 lineup, even leaving Sony A90K OLED and Sony A80K OLED behind. It's their first QD OLED TV which is a display technology that takes the already very impressive qualities of OLED TV and improves its brightness and color through the use of quantum dots. Along with the Samsung S95B OLED, it's among the first QD OLED screens to be made accessible to customers in 2022. I would definitely agree that Sony A95K is one of the most expensive OLEDs of the year, and you may be thinking that investing a lot of money in this model would not be a wise choice. However, let me tell you that it may seem to be a little similar to Sony's previous LED OLED versions, but if you use it once, you will not want your eyes to stop watching the content over its screen. I'm not exaggerating at all. I have used and tested it, and there is a reason why it's the award-winning model of 2022. Features and Design Let's start with the design and features of A95K straight away. The 120Hz, 3840x2160, pure RGB OLED display of the Sony A95K series is by far its most noticeable feature. If you do not know, WRGB LG OLEDs have been dominating this market for the past few years. In other words, they employ a fourth white subpixel to boost peak brightness as necessary. Although the A95K series pure RGB technology maintains color saturation even when highlights become stronger since it only uses red, green, and blue subpixels. And trust me when I say that sometimes this oversaturation is aesthetically appealing. This TV's design allows it to function in two separate ways. The most immersive experience is provided by the front position style with one slate design, while the back position style places the TV close to the wall for optimal harmony with the room. It weighs just under 60 pounds, with the stand contributing another 30 pounds or so. With that said, the port selection is excellent. There are four HDMI connectors, two of which offer auto low latency mode, variable refresh rate, and 120Hz refresh rates. eARC is also supported by one HDMI port a coax connection for a cable or satellite set-top box, composite audio with a center speaker input, optical SPDIF audio out, RS-232, and two USB connections are also available. Sony does not let me down when I claim that this TV misses very few technological developments. There are onboard Wi-Fi 5 adapters and latency-aware Bluetooth radio available. Calman Auto Calibration, HDR10, Dolby Vision, HLG, DTS Digital Surround, and Dolby Atmos are also supported. Picture Quality and Colors Let's talk a little about the Sony A95K picture quality. I am saying a little here because if I start, it will take more than half of the video and I won't finish. This TV offers up to 200% more color brightness than the standard OLED TVs thanks to the combination of XR OLED Contrast Pro and OLED Panel. Using Cognitive Processor XRTM technology, it improves images in a similar manner to how and where your eyes focus so you won't miss a single detail in bright light or dense shadow. The A95K commonly reaches brightness levels of 950 to 1000 nits in HDR and remarkably is able to maintain these levels of brightness for extended periods of time. However, given that both models employ the same panel technology, the S95B does become slightly brighter than the A95K but the difference is hardly noticeable. If you're a little picky, you may not find the gradients in the dark end of the spectrum as accurate as they are with LG's WRGB panel. But I think you won't merely decide on behalf of this feature. There is no blooming around bright objects, the screen uniformity is fantastic, and viewing angles are incredibly wide, which means the entire image is rich. Unlike Samsung and LG's OLEDs, the A95K has a heat dissipation layer. This keeps the TV bright under constant on-screen highlights. Audio Speakers Furthermore, Sony claims that for A95K, the screen is the speaker, which means that it produces accurate sound to synchronize with picture perfectly. Acoustic surface audio produces sound directly from the screen. Large actuators vibrate, creating powerful acoustics that moves with the picture so you hear a more realistic soundtrack with extraordinarily clear and natural dialogue. 
The woofers on the left and right increase bass for really immersive home theater audio. Its use of the display glass as a planner speaker is one of its distinguishing features. One of the few TVs whose sound you won't feel the need to immediately amplify is this one because the rear-mounted impellers, powered by a combined 60 watts of electricity, vibrate the panel to excellent effect. A number of sound modes and FAW 3D audio upscaling are also available. During the setup, the TV automatically modifies its audio to fit the surroundings. Google TV and Control Okay. So far, we have discussed the main features that people usually ask for. However, in the case of LEDs, I have often heard people complaining about the difficulty of running Google and internet platforms. A95K comes equipped with Google TV and the user interface is quite similar to that of its previous Android TVs. There is a dedicated homepage that will assist you to navigate from one app to the next, but sadly, there is also a lot of sponsored content on the screen. The Google TV platform provides a quick, easy way to stream material, despite its sponsored content. Additionally, the Android software that forms the framework of the A95K's menu is advanced. For those who enjoy experimenting, there are a variety of audio and visual settings available, and I value how simple it is to access different picture settings via a short menu that comes at the bottom of the screen. In my personal experience, compared to LG WebOS and Samsung Tizen, Google TV by Sony is much easier to use. Now, the voice control remote that comes with the A95K is a significantly better, smaller, and more targeted version of the one Sony started selling last year, and it supports both Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. It has specialized buttons for settings, input, and transport control and is lighted for usage in low-light conditions. Compared to Samsung's minimalist remotes, which force you to use the screen for practically all tasks, I much prefer its delicate blend of minimalism and utility. When it comes to the user interface remote synergy, you may adjust settings and watch the results in real time, which might be essential if you're customizing the image for particular content. There are many solutions available for that task, much more than the common individual likely needs or wants. Not only, but also Netflix video is now available in stunning studio quality thanks to the Sony A95K. Netflix Adaptive Calibrated Mode, which was created especially for Netflix content, combines with the Bravia XR TV's ambient light optimization technology to optimize image brightness based on the lighting conditions in your room, allowing you to fully immerse yourself in your favorite shows. But now, since we have discussed a lot of attractive features and pros of this OLED, there are some features that I personally didn't like about this model. It's not the ideal choice if you're an avid player, as the support for gaming should have been better. Although the Sony A95K has HDMI 2.1 ports that support 4K gaming at 120Hz, it also has built-in support for auto low latency and variable refresh rate, though only two of the TV's HDMI connections, one of which also serves as the device's specialized eARC port, offer these functions. To compare, almost all of the A95K's rivals, OLED or not, offer complete next-gen gaming capability across all four of its HDMI connections. With that, A95K trades the intense brightness of an LED TV for flawless black levels and extraordinarily broad viewing angles, much like all OLEDs do. The A95K would struggle in bright, sunny settings compared to LED TVs that can get twice as bright. Lastly, I know that the Sony Bravia XR A95K series is fantastic but pricey. You guys can argue to get a cheaper option with similar features. However, if you want the absolute best smart TV, you want one from the Sony Bravia XR A95K series. Nonetheless, if you don't care about some improvements, you might never notice its improved onboard audio or user interface. That is all for today's video. I hope the information is helpful for you. We'll see you in the next informative video. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.